All right, take two. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. Not going to blame this one on the prop boy. Apparently, I forgot to tell the prop boy I was going to do a video. This one's all my fault. So, anyway, we didn't have everything ready. And I had started the video, and I didn't want this big dead space in there. And I don't edit videos. I could edit videos. Can't be that hard to do. But uh, I see some of the people that do it. We'll just let that one sit right there. But anyway, so we're doing an old guy shave today as usual. We've got the uh, vintage Colgate in the old uh, Scolo here. This is the one that got dropped at one time or knocked off, really. It wasn't dropped. It was knocked off, so the handle cracked on it. But the Gorilla Glue picks that up. We've got the B400 by Tom that we've already started lathering. We're going to use the uh, Menin Skin Bracer. And, you know, the lather catcher that got me into lather catchers. This is the Jim Jr. Bar. What is it, a 1910, something like that, Jim Jr. Bar? I think it's what we always said it was. I'd actually have to go back and look it up to be sure. Well, someone asked me one time, uh, you know, how did, uh, how did I know about all these razors and everything? I cheat. I've got weights compendium on my computer, and when I'm going to do a video with something, if I'm going to talk about something on it, I go and look it up. You know, it's not always what you know. Sometimes it's, you know, knowing how to get information. You don't have to remember everything. But, uh, but anyway, there you go. I don't remember what I was talking about before uh, I closed the video. You know, I don't really script these things. It just kind of comes out the way it comes out. But anyway, it's Sunday afternoon, getting ready to go in and knock out a Sunday night and start a new week. I'm gonna be working some uh, evening shifts at the store. There used to be uh, what we call the detail out front a lot and they've cut back on that as off duty police officers. So uh, I'm gonna pull some of the slack by doing some closing shifts, evening and closing shifts and uh, then I'll break it up and do some earlier shifts too. Don't know if it really does any good. I think I slow things down some, but the truth of the matter is if people are going to steal, they don't care if you're around. They really don't. I can stop some of the bigger stuff if I see it heading for the door or whatever. Sometimes it's pretty obvious. But uh, usually if I'm there, I don't have to worry about the really obvious stuff. People, after you've been there a while, people know who you are. Just the way it is. But uh, so it's the little stuff that, you know, you're trying to walk the aisles and, and deter that kind of stuff. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But anyway, gotta love the shave from one of these old lather catchers. The Jim Jr. Bar is one of the more noticeable. Everybody knows at the Jim Jr. Bar. And uh, of course, Jim wasn't the only one who built the ones that look like it. There's some star razors that look like it and superiors and stuff like that, I guess. But uh, the Jim Jr. Bar is definitely, definitely a nice, nice, nice racer. It's comfortable to use. They're not real hard to find. They're not as cheap as they used to be. Used to, you could pick them up pretty reasonable. These days, sometimes you can pick them up if you catch them in a lot with some other razors and somebody doesn't really know a whole lot what's going on about razors, they won't run the price up. But it's like that, uh, you know, that unmentionable two-sided thingy, the fat boy that everybody pays so much money for. Once somebody realizes they have a fat boy, they, they think they're sitting on a gold mine, so they run it up. And sometimes that's what happens with the lather catchers. But, but uh, definitely everybody, I think if you're a single-edge enthusiast and you want to know what all the hubbub is about, get a lather catcher. Also vintage soaps. Uh, the Colgate is a great vintage soap. It's, yeah, you know, you can still find it. Like you still find the vintage uh, Williams. Uh, sometimes you get them in and they look a lot like this. This is the, uh, I think this is the barbershop and uh, version. They had the barbershop version, they had the cut version, they had the bug version. And I haven't seen any difference. But if they show up and they're old yellowed like that and look like they're dried out and stuff like that, don't throw them away. They work just fine. Rinse them off if you want to but they work just fine. There's no need to go and slice all that off, although you could scrape the top layer off if it makes you feel better. Not really any need to. I've actually sent cakes of the uh, vintage soap to people and they throw them away because they didn't think they were any good. It's like, you think I'm gonna send you something that's not good? Jeez. 
My mom always said, you know, if someone gives you a bag of rocks, they thank you very much and uh, go thump them in your driveway. I've actually seen people, someone was trying to give them something. They're like, oh, no, I don't need that. No, thank you, whatever. And give it back. I've seen. I stopped dating somebody one time over something similar to that. Not going to elaborate and hurt anybody's feelings, but uh, you know, if your kids are getting Christmas presents and then they instantly give them back to the person that's giving them to them, that's a character flaw in my book. That's not something I'm going to try to fix. Uh, but anyway, that's good coffee. Got me my uh, Ozark Trail camp mug here, the metal metal mug. I don't know. Getting to be camping weather, squirrel season weather, everything. I'm seriously considering going fishing Wednesday, which means everything's going to blow up now that I said that. But uh, that's the plan. I'm planning on taking Wednesday off from both jobs and going fishing. Now, I say that, and it rained today. So we're going to get in a rainy pattern for the week. That probably won't happen, but it's worth, uh, you know, working on. All right, little witch hazel here, keeping things moving along because I got a text a little while ago that one of my co-workers needs another ride to work today. I mean, what can I do? Say no. And uh, so I'm in a little bit of rush. I was doing some laundry and ended up having to put two loads into one dryer, so the dryer's got to run a second time, so I'm going to be pushing up on time on getting the laundry finished. But it all works out. It always does. And, of course, a good shave definitely helps out with all the, all the hubbub. And you definitely get a good shave from one of these right there. That is just excellent shave. I don't know how many shaves are on that blade. That is a stainless blade because I've been having one I've been finishing off. I do have some treat carbon blades ready to go. Quick did I get it finished off. And we'll be back doing the uh, carbon carbon steel shades, which I think are superior, personally. Oh, speaking of superior, I think that's what we're going to use for, uh, you know, we're coming up again towards the end of the month. And the first Sunday of each month is a uh, favorite ladder catcher day. Now, my favorite ladder catcher is really not just one. So I just pick my favorite at the moment and use it uh, for those shades. But that's going to be coming up, whatever the first. I haven't looked to see what the date's going to be for the first Sunday in uh, November. Boy, man, we're almost out of this year. I'm telling you, let's keep that up. Also, remember tomorrow is Monday, so that makes it Micromatic Monday if you want to join in the fun there. And Williams Wednesday will be coming around, although a lot of my Williams Wednesdays end up being Thursday shaved. It just seems like Wednesdays always get sidetracked. I don't know why that is. Just the way it is sometimes. So we'll put on a little bit of the skin bracer, even though we're going to still jump in the shower. We'll just put some on to remind us how good of an old guy scent skin bracer really is. Everybody ought to try some. Maybe you'll like the old guy scent. All right, well, that's it for me today. I'm going to finish getting ready for work and get rolling for the evening. Got a 12 hour shift tonight as usual on every other Sunday. But we got some good coffee to start it off with. And I took some Cafe Bustello. I bought some uh, Cafe Bustello Keurig pods that I have in my backpack now. So I'm drinking good coffee at work too. They've got okay coffee there. It's free. I can drink all of it I want. But I mix it up with a little bit of my stuff and it makes it even better. All right, well, that's going to do it for the day from Baton Rouge. Whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, remember, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't matter what his teeth look like. It's free. Someone gives you a box of rocks, go dump them in the driveway after you say, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You have a great day. We're out.